Hello there, person. Welcome to another episode of Making Video Games with your old pal, WizardFu. Let's check out what's new with Wraithbinder. This week, I've been implementing the charged attack and working on ability levels some more. Um, and so when you upgrade your melee attack, your, your, you get the blade, the blade attack. So you start with punch, you get the blade, and at blade level two, you can um, unlock the charge attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and cheat to get some uh, some some levels here and check it out. There's a new effect too with the uh, with the whole level up animation. It will actually create an impact crater. Let's actually kills <laughs> kill this little creep doing that. So boom! It knocks into this like this impact crater in the ground, and it even um, it darkens the two tiles, the tiles that are uh, that are hit by it, and even. The player can walk into that indentation in the ground, so it's an actual move system, collision system thing, as well as a render system thing. Uh, whoops, we got the uh, we automatically upgraded to the bow. So there's a timer, and it ticks down, and whenever we hit that timer ticks down, and you have ability points, it will automatically use your ability points for you. I still need to put some kind of place here that it, that shows how many ability points you have, but. It typically you have zero ability points unless you've just leveled up and then you have one and you'll go and use that that ability point so there's really not that much of a point of showing like oh you have one except if you're gonna have two or three go up levels really fast somehow oh, so, but anyways uh, let's uh level up again let's get the blade oops whoa what did I what did I just do there whoa. I lost the abilities that's a weird bug. So uh, what did I do? I went into here and then there. Oh, we gotta start over. The abilities on the left there disappeared. Let's go back and do that again. Um, and this time we'll up to upgrade the actual blade both times. Oops. Okay, so we got blade level one. Level two, and now we can basically use the uh, the blade button, hold it. Oh, it takes a. It also takes matter points now, so um, it uses actually two matter points to swing your blade. And if you run out of matter points with your blade, it goes back to your regular punch attack. So um, that's kind of interesting, right? Like you actually you have to use a resource to do some more damage. Your your punch attack does two damage, but then your blade does four damage, but it costs some magic, or sorry, some matter points. Uh, so, that's interesting. Um, but so you basically you use the, the blade button, hold it down, and then let it go for that the charge attack. The charge attack is like a real explosive blow. It does a lot of damage, um, and it's, it sort of goes out in a wave, like an explosion wave. Um, I need to do some kind of animation for the player actually holding the charge. Uh, right now I'm just using this whole shield animation where he's got his left arm in front of him and his right arm behind. Maybe that doesn't make as much sense for a charge attack. In Songbringer, I had it so the, the player would hold their blade in front of them when they were all charged up and there was this sort of light animation going on uh, where there's, there's sort of like this... Knocked him off the edge there. This, uh, anyways, it was it was clear that you had a charged up attack. Oh gosh, I love how the bots are using their ranged attacks a lot better now. The other day, I was running around, one, running away from this bot, and he totally killed me with a, with one arrow shot. I was just like, what the heck? That was awesome. I'm getting rushed here with my base right now. Let's see. Let's use the charge attack here. Should do a lot of damage. And really work these guys fast. Ooh, we're running into some kind of slowdown issue that I've noticed after the game plays itself out for a long time. It will actually start to slow down a bit. I think it's because there's too many creeps. I mean, there's probably a ton of creeps are on the oh, all over the map. Uh, but there you have it. That's that's what I've been working on. Oh, there's a couple more things. Let's uh, let's upgrade a few more uh, levels here until we can get the Skybot. I can't wait to do some animations for this Skybot, but for now, um, what I want to do here is basically the the Skybot allows you to build buildings. Um, you can place a mine. You can 
You can do ward. So that, that ward actually will see enemies. Um, the mine. Whoa. You can put, it, put down a blockade now. So that's those two new items you can build. There's um, blockade. Which basically just builds a little pillory thing here. Um, and it uses matter, but then you can also recover your matter by hitting it a bunch. Um, so that's the blockade. Uh, then there's uh, the ward we already saw. The healing stone that requires a ton of matter. But basically you can create a healing stone anywhere and sit next to it and heal up. So let's actually uh, let's get a ton of matter here. We may have harvested all we can right here. Let's go over this way. Get some more of this. We'll get a ton of matter from killing these creeps. I think it costs 250. There we go. Okay, so let's build a healing stone. And we can heal next to it. Boom! Just like you have at your base, you, have these, you build these healing stones, but it costs a lot of matter. Um, and then what else? We have the turret. You can that costs a lot of matter too, but we, we've seen those before. Those are basically just these little armory-looking things that shoot arrows at your enemies. Oh, check it out! These creeps are attacking my blockade. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and then of course the bridge. The bridge is kind of interesting, but this is kind of interesting. Check this out. Uh, if I want to get across this little section right here, I can build a bridge. Oop. Not enough matter. Now we do. Boom! So that's kind of neat, right? You can actually create a permanent bridge. Uh, other buildings will come into play at some point. And what I was talking about before was the animation. So the the whole reason for having a Skybot in Wraithbinder is that the Skybot actually goes and builds buildings for you. Um, so as soon as you unlock your skybot ability you a skybot appears and you can you can use it so basically um, whenever I build some kind of item let's build a mine why, why is it uh, there it is really gotta work on these controls but there's a mine check it out this mine will explode when that creep comes there and boom oh that was cool so I've got really gotta work on all these animations and and looks for all the the buildings so what I want to happen with the Skybot is the Skybot will fly over to the point where you're, you've indicated to build a building, and the Skybot will actually build that building at that point. Um, and there'll be some kind of cool animation for that. So, gosh, that's pretty much all that's new with Wraithbinder. Thank you uh, for watching this video, and um, we'll catch you on the next one, alright? See ya.